Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So in the comment section of this shorts video about the M5 stack products that I have to review, we had a little poll going apparently. One person wanted to check out the Atomic Atomics with GPS. Three people voted for the AWS core unit and four people voted for the M5 paper. So we're gonna check out the M5 stack M5 paper in this video. So this is a 4.7 inch e-ink display that's 960 by 540 pixels. And we're gonna work through the tutorial and quick start guide here. There's several different ways you can program your M5 paper. You can use the Arduino IDE, the M5 burner, and they also have these easy loader executables. Here's that easy loader executables. They've got factory test, to do, and calculator. So I'm gonna download the factory test executable because I read that they've added the ability to set the time zone when you're syncing time. If this is your first time working with ESP32 devices, you're gonna to need to download the CP210X driver for Windows or Macintosh and have that installed. Look for the link down below. So let's take a look at the M5 paper. Here's the out of box experience. And this is basically the test of all of the various facilities on the M5 paper. I'm testing the button here. You see me toggle it up and down and you get right or left. And if you press it straight in, you get P for press. You've got three expansion ports. There's the USB-C port. There's an SD card slot. There's that nifty button that dials up and down and presses in. On the back is the reset button. If you're powered by USB-C cable, pressing reset only resets. If you're powered by battery, pressing reset will actually shut the unit down. So let's go into settings here and you can see we have wallpaper options. You have to select one and then go back for it to display. There's the triangle. Here's the engine. Oh, that's pretty nice. And here's the M5 paper logo. We'll go ahead and stay with that for now. Okay, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi to sync time. Here's the keyboard feature. Again, these are all just bare bones features that allow you to test your M5 paper in the factory test application. This lets you check out the various font sizes. So you can see here I've typed in some letters and I'm gonna make them bigger by increasing the font. I guess you can make it as big as you like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the limitation is there. So we will go ahead and set the Wi-Fi up. Let's check out storage. We got some things on the SD card. I was surprised it actually let me open this text file. You see here I have some quotes from The Art of War and you can use the little wheel on the side to page up and down in it. So you could, right out of the box, it's an ebook, it'll let you load text files. There's no fancy features like word wrap or, or anything like that, but I was surprised it actually read a text file off the SD card out of the box. It won't let me open images from the SD card out of the box. Here's the compare application, and this just shows the variety of display capabilities. Home, now this is a phony Internet of Things page here. These don't actually do anything, but you could see you could turn a plug on and off or turn the heater on and off, etc. But again, these don't actually do anything. They're just buttons. So this is a factory test demo. Here's the game of life, and you can make it go faster by pressing the wheel on the side. I don't really understand the objective of this game. Wow, that screen's getting kind of crowded. You press the thumb wheel straight in, and that powers the M5 paper on. It takes a minute for it to do that little reset. The great thing about the M5 paper is even when it's powered off, it shows the last image that was on the display. Now here's the reset button on the back. When you're not hooked up to USB and you press the reset button, it powers the unit off. 
if you're hooked to USB with power, it will actually just reset it. So you see here, that's just the image displayed from the last screen, but the unit is turned off. So I've put my Wi-Fi password in, and we're going to go into settings, and we're going to sync time, and it succeeds at syncing the time, but when I come out, it says it's 9.18 p.m., and I'll look at my watch, and it's actually... 6.18 p.m. unfortunately so we want to be able to set the time zone but you can't do it in the original out-of-box experience that's why I want to run this easy loader to flash the latest version of factory test onto the M5 paper so we're gonna go ahead and run the factory test executable and that opens this little dialogue here we want to make sure we've selected the correct serial port. In my case, it's COM14. And I'm going to hit burn. And you see here, it's flashing the M5 paper with the latest factory test image. Okay. The M5 paper's reset. There, you see the time zone setting. So for my time zone, I want to set minus 7 against UTC and now we sync time and it says it's 632 and that agrees perfectly with my watch so I'm very happy so you'll wanna when you first get this if you can't set your time zone you wanna download that easy loader executable and flash your M5 paper with that as I indicated previously you can use the M5 burner to flash programs onto your M5 paper. In M5 Burner, you just click on the gear, make sure you have the latest version, and here you see Factory Test, To Do, and Calculator. As well, they also have this Image Viewer and this Weather app. The Weather app, you'll have to go to a website and register to get an API key. I couldn't quite figure out the image format for the Image Viewer, but I'll keep working on that. In the meantime, we're going to check out the Arduino IDE. The Easy Loader executables were one interesting way to flash firmware onto the M5 paper. Now, we're going to start up the Arduino IDE. First, under Preferences, you're going to want to go into Additional Board Manager URLs. And you want to hit enter in this window and paste in the M5 stack board manager URL. Then we go into tools, board manager, and you're going to want to search for M5 stack. Here I'm installing the latest version available. There with the M5 stack added in boards manager, we're going to go to tools, boards manager, M5 stack and select the M5 paper. Yeah, and you can see M5 stack paper is selected. Make sure to select the correct serial port. Now we're going to go into sketch, library manager, manage libraries. This can take a few seconds to open up. In the library manager you want to search for M5 EPD. There we go. I already have it installed somehow. Okay, great. Now we can check out some of the M5 EPD example sketches. And these are under File, Example Sketches, and you got to scroll all the way down until you find the M5 EPD section. So this is the button sketch, and we go ahead and send that over to the M5 paper. And you see here, you just get the thumb wheel functionality. It's interesting when you look back at the code, it's very simple to read this thumb wheel, and it's also very simple to display that information on the screen. There's really effectively, what are we looking at here? 16, 17 lines of code that actually refer to the M5 library. That's very interesting. So you can see, it could be very easy to get started with this program. 
at least interacting with the screen and the button. So let's check out the next example sketch. Now this is display URL and it's actually going to download an image from a web URL. You just have to put in your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. And then you load that up to your M5 paper and you get this lovely picture on the screen. So here it goes. Okay, isn't it lovely? We got that picture on the screen. But again, this is a remarkably simple example that's going to help you get started with your own sketches in Arduino for M5 paper. You can see Wi-Fi is taken care of for you. The display is easy enough and there's other functionality available. This is the real time clock example sketch. When you push the button, you see it has this shutdown command with the five second parameter. So it shuts down for five seconds and starts back up again. There we go. Push the button, shuts down, starts back up again. Five seconds later. Pretty cool. This example sketch works with the SHT30 thermometer and humidity sensor. Again, remarkably simple code and remarkably simple code to display it on the screen. Our next example sketch under examples M5 EPD is the touch sketch. So this sketch creates a rectangle of this size on the paper display wherever you touch your screen. This will be a fun one to demo. Let's check it out. Let's play with this for a minute here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One of the things I notice is UI Flow M5 Stacks native programming IDE does not have the M5 paper in it. It's got the core ink unit, but it doesn't have M5 paper. This just in. This morning on M5 Stack's Twitter feed, I saw that they are going to have M5 paper in UI Flow this week. So check flow.m5stack.com later this week to see if it's there. All right. Thanks, M5 Stack. So some of these example sketches in the Arduino IDE were a little rudimentary. There's still some more to explore in the tutorial and quick start guide. However, you can see the M5 paper has a lot of interesting features, a variety of ways to program it with Easy Loader, with the M5 burner, and the Arduino IDE. Stay tuned for next time. I'm going to write a simple MQTT client for M5 paper so I can see the temperature of my office. All right. Thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.